Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to import 3D objects into your work in Adobe Photoshop. So first what we're going to be doing is starting on TurboSquid, which is a website that where you can download 3D models. Um, they do have a lot of free 3D models that you can download, but there are also a lot of great models that you can purchase on this site. So what I'm going to do is search Spaceship, and then over here on the right hand side I'm going to sort it by lowest prices. So as you can see, there's a lot to choose from, but I'm just going to be choosing this fourth one down, this spaceship, um, and we're going to be downloading the OBJ file. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. And this was created by John Lundy 3D, and it's a free download, and you can check out the royalty-free license to see what you can use it for. So I'm going to go ahead and click the download button. So now there's a lot of different options you can choose from, but I'm going to select the OBJ option because all we're going to be needing is the OBJ file for this. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and select OBJ and it's going to be in a zip file. So you will need a program that can open up zip files. So once it's downloaded, I'm just going to drag it into my desktop. And if you have Mac, they have some apps that can open up zip files if you don't have that already. So now I'm going to jump into Photoshop. I have this cloud image that we're going to be using a little bit later, but first I'm going to go to File Open, and I'm going to be importing in the 3D spaceship into a new comp. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and select the OBJ file of the spaceship and click Open. Now I'm just going to leave the settings at 1280 by 720 and I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see we have our OBJ file in Adobe Photoshop and I'm just going to zoom in on the top here and show you some of the 3D settings on the toolbar. So basically I'm just going to be using the orbit and the rotate tool to rotate my spaceship in the position that I want. So I'm just going to rotate it um, as if it's at an angle so that when I import it into my clouds image it's going to appear as if it's coming out of the clouds once we create the layer mask. So I'm just going to use the orbit and the rotate tool and just kind of angle this a little bit. And uh, that's all I'm going to be doing for the 3D object. I'm not going to change any of the other settings. So we're just going to go ahead and go to File, Export, and I'm going to be exporting this as a quick PNG file. And I'm just going to save this as Spaceship. And now I'm going to come over to my Clouds image. And now I'm just going to drag in the spaceship that I just exported from Photoshop. And I'm just going to even rotate this a little bit more and then hit the check mark to place it. And using my move tool, I'm just going to move it down a little bit. So now we're ready to create a layer mask for the spaceship. So with the spaceship layer selected, I'm going to select the layer mask tool button. So just click add layer mask. And as you can see, a layer mask pops up next to the spaceship. And over here on the left hand side, you just want to make sure that the foreground color is black. And now we're going to go up to the brush tool and we're going to select the brush tool. And up here for the brush settings, I'm just going to select the soft round brush and I'm going to set the hardness at 15%. And opacity and flow I'm going to leave at 100%. Um, if I wanted to lower that, that would give it more of a subtle look, but I'm going to leave it at 100. So now we're using the layer mask. What we're going to be doing is hiding part of the spaceship because I want to make it appear as if it's coming out of the clouds. So I'm just going to paint around the spaceship And by using the soft round brush, it's just going to give more of a blended edge as well as lowering the percentage of the hardness. That's going to give you kind of a soft blended edge. And then I'm going to go over to my cloud layer and I'm just going to add a curves adjustment. I'm just going to bring down the RGB a little bit. And this will just darken the image a little bit. And then I'm going to come down here and add an adjustment, which is going to 
create an adjustment for the entire composition. So I'm just going to bring down the brightness and bring up the contrast a little bit. And that's it on how to import 3D objects into Adobe Photoshop as well as creating a layer mask. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.